What's up, Air Gods? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Y'all know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation weapons and things of that nature as signs. So let's see what's going on, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius up in this motherfucker spirit. You are welcome into this reading. Massage for the gods, honey, the air gods, baby. So we're going to start out with Gemini, Libra, and then Aquarius. Okay, we're going to get three romance angels per spread and go from there. Possible outcomes, what you don't see. Okay, who could be lying as well, being dishonest, and whatever else we're going to uncover. So here we go. Gemini, let's see what's going on, baby. Oh, shit, we got a jumper. Children. Children are affecting your love life. So if you have children, they are being, uh, they are affected for some of you guys. Okay. So we had a jumper. Okay. You could be dealing with some hyperactive children. All right. Also give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, Gemini. All right. Now talk to me. So, working on your partnership, could be that somebody needs a hug, okay, they need to slow down. And I'm also seeing here, uh, for some of you guys, there's some playfulness, darling. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, whenever I get this card, I know for sure somebody needs to make uh, a little bit better, more effort. You could be doing some playfulness. Y'all know how witty Geminis are. So the playfulness is not a problem. So you could be trying to recapture some romance with someone or just working on your relationship or on your partnership. But I'm seeing um, there is something that you might need to pay attention to as well, Gemini's. Or there could be something coming to your senses. So let's see what's going on. We're going to choose two of these um, tarot, psychic tarot from the hall. All right, so our first card off top is dreams coming true. So you could be having a dream coming true. There could be uh, a lot of things that are coming into fruition in the palm of your hands, baby. You know Gemini is ruled by the hands. Okay. So, um, you know, there could be a lot of things coming into fruition. Your dreams could be, you know, could becoming real, becoming... Um, a vision and real reality in this reality. Um, and I'm also seeing here rest and reconsider. So it's time to, you know, take some time. You could be feeling alone or you could be feeling like it's just time to sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> Jim and I. You guys, you could be moving on or there could be a move that you're getting ready to take a walk. So taking a walk, possibly putting your feet in the sand getting some alone time, getting talking to the rocks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, y'all sitting next to rocks. So you could be dealing with rocks or you could be dealing with, you know, just the earth all together. But I'm seeing a lot of um, rest and relaxation cards. All right. So Gemini darlings, let's see what's going on with you off top. And then between you and your partner, Ace of Cups up in this bitch. So Wow. Wow. Two of cups. So Gemini, darlings, someone definitely wants a connection or a union ship. Two of cups, ace of cups, some sort of love situation is really going on here. Okay. Soulmate connection could be an abundance coming in, abundance of security and love balance. Somebody could have an offer of love coming towards you, Gemini. So let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Three of swords coming in reverse. Ten of, yeah, so this is indicating that you are tired or you are needing a rest, all right? Uh, you could be just putting in a lot of work, but you're healing right now with this three of swords. Also with the ten of wands, could be that there's some sort of ending or you're just overall feeling like this is a burden, okay? Uh, but I feel like your partner 
is definitely wanting things to come together. Um, they could be having a lot of anxiety as well. They have a full energy here, so you could be dealing with somebody who wants a new beginning, all right, and wants things to come together with you. It could be Gemini, that there um, are unforeseen things that you haven't quite seen yet because somebody is hanging around. So be aware of unforeseen factors with this person. Yeah, Page of Swords, Six of Cups. Damn, I called it before it even came out. So there could be some sour things or there are some things in the past, um, you know, that you have a lot of negative energy towards. Um, or you could be feeling like this person is bringing that on to you within the relationship. But I feel like they're spying. They're looking at you. Or you could be look, just looking in the past or looking, you know, in a different direction. But be aware of the information that they give out to you with that page of swords. It could be that, you know, with the page, he's pretty young, fairly young. Some of you all could be dealing with somebody who makes impulsive decisions. He's got his sword out and ready, all right? So um, I feel what you don't see is that there's some sort of commitment energy here. Uh, three of Pentacles could be a third party situation involved or you guys outweighing your decisions of a third party. But I feel with the two of wands, there is a final decision that's being made here. Could be between two different energies. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, keep in mind, could go vice versa. Uh, definitely Capricorn energy here with this devil. I feel with the devil energy, there's um, it, it's like this this undertone, all right, of like just something not being said or done or um, something that you feel is kind of off within your emotions or within this person's emotions with that devil energy here. Okay, also with the three of pentacles, so... I feel um, there's multiple people, like I said, there's something that's unbeknownst to you that could be coming up. So be aware of that, especially with that devil, that toxic energy, um, you know, holding on to bonds and ties. Uh, you know, the moons, the dogs and shit barking at the goddamn moon and when nobody shut up, like can't nobody see what's going on in the dark. OK, so Gemini, be careful of that. Right. Um, somebody might be trying to hide some things here. So could be you. Um, I feel what you don't see is there's this vibe of somebody who's bringing in some emotions. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, somebody wants this love. OK, but just be aware of that, you know, undertone or somebody doing sex, drugs and motherfucking rock and roll. OK. <laughs> but I feel like somebody wants to bring in some love. Uh, Emperor energy here. You could be dealing with someone older. But I'm seeing um, there's going to be some sort of communication for some of you guys. Also with this Queen of Wands. Um, somebody who's kind of sitting around waiting for an action or who's calling the shots. All right. But you're getting ready to see how the shots are being taken, especially through communication. Um, but for some of y'all, it definitely could be that you're building up some energy. Um towards this unknown you're just you know really keeping things afloat uh you definitely could be dealing with two different people here king of wands be aware of that right because that motherfucker could be tricky and on some bullshit things of that nature but i feel like you're going to be making a final decision let's see about possible outcomes for gemini star energy 10 of swords damn also eight of wands okay could be dealing with an aquarian could be a cycle that's closing out but I feel like there's going to be some sort of connection or communication that comes out. Uh, it could be showing this person's, you know, equal give and take is what I'm seeing here, Gemini, or just overall how the conversation is going to flow in and out, um, who you're going to give your time to. Um, but I do feel nine of cups energy here. Be aware of these people that are watching your success and your jealousy as well. I feel like you're kind of closing yourself off in this hermit type of mode, but it's also bringing in, um, you know, somebody that, could be watching you be damaged, okay, and trying to take in a new opportunity or watching you kind of suffer. They feel like they can, you know, kind of come in and be like, oh, it's, it's okay. Or they could be the motherfucker that's suffering and you're kind of just irritated because they're damaged, okay? It could be possible Scorpio energy here, uh, Aquarian energy as well. But I feel possible outcomes. You guys have major action that's being taken here. Knight of Wands, Will of Fortune, and also the Strength Energy, Gemini. So 
going to have a lot of confidence towards this time that's changing or destiny that's getting ready to change. I feel like things are going to be really good and even the stress is energy in the sun. Could be dealing with a Libra, also Leo uh, with the sun energy, but I feel things are going to be bright and well connected. Um, it's definitely a lot of work you'll be putting things into, but you'll be able to juggle this for sure with the two of pentacles, Gemini, right? Bottom of the deck is the uh, king of cups, also the magician energy. So be aware of that tricky ass motherfucker. Like I said, it's a lot of sexual undertones. Maybe Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, also, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So be aware of that, Gemini darlings. Y'all know I'm going to tell you this. Okay. So here we go, Libra. Let's see what's up for the weekend, babies. Off top, we have getting to know you. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond, your bond is going to deepen for some of you, Libra. So um, I did post out the uh, the Libra for the 1st through the 16th. And y'all had a few people that, you know, had love for you. But it's definitely time to think about, um, you know, how situations how you fall into situations or how people bring their absurdities to you okay religious factors here okay so it says your love life is influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path libra and let go of control issues so let go of those control issues try to let it happen it feels like for the weekend things are just going to be uh you could be just wanting to see it um unfold naturally okay not be too demanding so let's see here we go trust yes so trust this is that full card in this uh psychic tarot for the heart deck so it's saying to trust the situation okay you could be just getting to know somebody you could still be just in that growing learning process and also let it flow yeah so letting go of control issues letting it flow letting things be how they may um, try not to put too much force on it or aggression, all right? But I do feel your throat chakra is, uh, you know, needing some work, or you could be trying to work on your throat. You could be a singer. You could be whatever the case may be, <laughs> okay? Drink you some tea, some lemon, some ginger, okay? <laughs> so let's see what's going on for you, Libra, with you off top, and then between you and your person. Oh, we got shit falling out off top, damn. Okay, so somebody could be falling apart, honey. Okay, so there's a, a decision that's going to be made here. Okay, somebody wants to come out of the cold. Five of Pentacles. Lover's energy. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Also Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with this, um, <clears throat> with this two of swords. So, yeah, I'm starting to feel why they got your throat chakra on there. Mm. So, <clears throat> I don't know, it was something about me speaking, that's interesting, <clears throat> what I was saying. Um, so, I feel like there's a decision that's going to be made here. I feel between you and your partner, there could be a break of communication. It could be a lot of jealousy as well. could have been something that was said or something that someone was uh, told. But with the King of Wands, Page of Wands, I feel like, there's a little master manipulator up in the mix, Libra, so be aware of that. Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy could be a really immature type person, but you could be receiving some sort of message. Um, or you feel like you could be being foolish to this overall energy, you know, going back and forth with, you know, if you're going to come out of the cold with them. Do you know everything about them? Because it's saying you're getting to know this person, right? So use your intuition as far as your, or your intuition is going to be, uh, be being used at that time. You'll be able to really understand if this person is down for anything. Okay. But I feel money here. Okay. Independence, money, peace of mind is definitely, uh, what you guys are looking for is what I'm seeing. Okay. Also could be a uh, possible Virgo towards Capricorn in the mix, but you guys could be really taking care of some stability, your money, right? Your legacy, Dealing with family members, um, but I'm seeing a lot of communication coming out. Eight of Wands, energy here, Libra. So let's see what you don't see. 
I feel uh, with the chariot energy that there's going to be some forward movement. You could be having a little bit of disagreements, but um, I feel things are going to be pushing forward anyway. Okay, with that chariot energy, could be dealing with the Canfani and Virgo Taurus Capricorn here as well with this King of Pentacles. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody who's just all about their business. But I feel like what you don't see under the surface is um, somebody was juggling multiple things, but it's kind of like you're getting ready to put the pedal to the metal, baby. All right. Either you're going to cancel it out or end some things here, or there's going to be a sudden change that's pushing through. Okay. But be aware of um, <coughs> someone who's being <coughs> deceptive towards you, excuse me, um, with the seven of swords energy. All right. Uh, or somebody who's planning some things that you haven't quite seen yet. But there is, uh, that could be what that Five of Swords is talking about. But underneath the surface, you guys are uh, definitely going to be seeing some truths here. Or somebody could be trying to booby trap they sell. Okay. Setting shit up. So, possible outcomes. Libra, darlings. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. So someone is going to be going back and forth. There could be little small traveling, short traveling distance here and there. Um, but I'm seeing with the Knight of Swords, somebody could be coming rushing in. They could be kind of angry or they're trying to let go of some sort of anger. Um, or they feel like if they do come towards you, that there could be like some sort of aggression or somebody who's not really willing to work things out or emotionally, they're just not quite ready. Um, but I do feel someone could be older that you're dealing with, with the emperor energy. You also could be dealing with, you know, Paw Paw, Grandma. All right. But somebody who has some wisdom, you're gaining structure here. Uh, but I feel like your person could have a lot of, um, they need some confidence, okay? Uh, but I feel with the justice energy, it could be that they're bringing on a lot of injustices. Uh, but this is your card, Libra. Um, to me, there is a connection that's off to the side, but be wary. Honey. Be wary of this person. You got the judgment energy and the devil with the two of wands. So someone could be needing to take a look in a book reading Rainbow, okay? And figure some shit out before they really just make a jump start, okay? Uh, you have the Empress <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck as well. So you could be wanting to start something new with someone or someone could be pregnant here. Or very fertile. But it looks like a new beginning, Libra. It definitely does. So let's see what's going on, Aquarius. Here we go. Oh, let's see what just came out. Give your relationship a chance. Damn. Everybody's been getting that card. Okay, so it's saying to give your relationship a chance. Work on that damn partnership. Somebody needs to reach out. Give a hug. Somebody needs some help. Okay, and also attraction, Aquarius, and engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you could be using those pheromones with those attractions. Okay, it could be some sexual attraction here as well. But a lot of you guys really do... Um, you know, have a relationship or your thoughts on relationships and people is ascending. Okay. You're starting to plateau to better peaks. It could be some sex energy that's going on, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on, baby. Because I'm curious now. But definitely give your relationship a chance. Okay. It might be some things you need to work on or they need to work on before things can really come together. Right. Yeah, coming together. Shit. Shit is starting. Every time I pull a card, usually it's already there. Like, the thought is already, like, I'm already knowing. Okay? So, coming together. And also, sadness and isolation. So, some of y'all could be, you know, being too much isolation. It could be that you need some real... Um, it needs some real nurturing. Okay? Or somebody definitely needs... Um, oh, shit. Somebody definitely needs to think about, um, you know, the in-betweens of what's going on. They might need to um, really think about how they're making themselves isolated, how you can come out of that, right? What did I just drop? Damn. So think about that, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you off top. We have the high priestess energy. You're already in the knowing, darlings. So somebody is in the knowing. You already know exactly where you're at and where you're wanting to be. Could be some struggles that you're leaving behind with this ten of swords. 
uh, Ten of Wands coming in reverse. All right. But I see um, between you and your partner, there's definitely going to be some um, somebody who's ended the situation overall. Ten of Swords, um, the Wheel, and also the Eight of Wands. So someone is definitely, it could have been a miscommunication, could have been a third party situation um, where somebody was involved or there were too many people. Um, but I'm seeing here Aquarius, we got cards jumping. We got the world energy and also the ace of pentacles. So I feel like somebody was really worried about a situation or there was a lot of heartbreak surrounded by this, but I feel between you and your person, it's kind of like they're wanting to bring things together. You guys could have been, you know, broken apart, but with the world energy, things are coming into a completion, whether it be for the good or bad. All right, but with the Ace of uh, Pentacles, there's definitely some sort of offer. Somebody could be traveling here as well, or could be a traveler. Yeah, Two of Wands. So there's some sort of decision that's being made, especially with canceling out a third-party situation or leaving some bullshit behind is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, now, what you don't see, oh, here goes your card. This is you, baby, the naked card. <laughs> so... Um, what you don't see is there's going to be something you're gearing yourself towards. You're going to be working very hard and diligent to this shit. Okay, not necessarily hard, but just smart. Um, but I do feel um, a lot of you guys are going to be focusing on your money. This is you with the star energy underneath the surface. Okay, you kind of guarded yourself or you're kind of leaving away or someone is just, you know, at, they're feeling at a distance. So be aware of that. I do see... Um, you're wanting to make a new opportunity of everything. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. So it looks like you're kind of wanting things to just like go as they may, right? Ten of, pen Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Aquarius, darling. So there is definitely a new situation that's getting ready to happen or something is getting ready to transpire. It could be within the money, financial, things of that nature. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be pentacles, um, you know, that you're gearing yourself around or surrounding yourself in, but I'm seeing that there could be somebody who's just all about the coin, okay, nine, nine of pentacles, you're gearing yourself towards your options, towards making more money or making um, more decisive decisions, Aquarius, uh, but I feel with this page of swords, there could be somebody who's fine, so be aware of that. Somebody's definitely spying. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. They're watching. Yeah, definitely Gemini with the lover's energy. Uh, it also could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with this Knight of Pentacles. Somebody who knows that you're kind of moving slow or taking a slower time on, you know, being responsive because you're not quite ready yet for, you know, some relationship standards. Okay. Uh, I have the Six of Wands coming in reverse. So... I feel like this person feels things aren't going to work out or they're having to spy due to, you know, somebody not telling the truth about their value shift and their connection. Okay. They could be in two minds about it as well. Uh, what you don't see is that there could be somebody who's wanting to build with you. They definitely miss you with the eight of cups. Okay. Four of wands could be some stability that you're trying to bring in or somebody is afraid to make something new start because they've had their heart broken or they're, Afraid that there could be somebody who is being on that player like shit, okay? And if you want on some player like shit, then they ain't not fucking with you. But I do feel there is some sex energy here, or somebody's definitely gearing themselves. Wow, yeah, gearing themselves towards sex with this Empress energy. That's probably what that passion is talking about. And you also have the moon energy could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? But I do feel um, there's going to be possible outcomes, possible Scorpio energy, Gemini energy here. Um, Somebody wants to have a restart, but they're feeling like you might be imbalanced or there needs to be some sort of balance in between or back and forth. OK, uh, I feel like somebody could be dealing with two different people here as well, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with somebody who's a part of the family. And, this, and then there's another person outside of this entity that you're wanting to bring in a relationship or trying to make something happen. OK, but uh, possible outcomes. I'm seeing someone's letting go of a third party before they actually take that gamble. OK, look how they got all the bets on the table. So this person or someone's going to be hanging around awaiting for some things, ready to see when you're going to take this gamble because they have been watching you. 
They could be approaching you as well, but it looks like um, there's a lot of sexual energy here. You could be dealing with a Sagittarian energy, uh, but be aware, you know, this person could be kind of bored or they're trying to balance. Like, I just get this thing of balancing here, okay? That's what I'm seeing for the weekend with multiple people, multiple things, okay? All right, my loves. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, make sure you check out my four questions for $25 for the weekend. I'll have it in the description box down below. And also, um, check out my website, barelsmoon.com, for any of the multiple purposes and deviation weapons. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.